everyone. Welcome back to Heart Health with Michelle. My name is Michelle Rothenstein. I'm a cardiovascular dietitian, and my mission is to help you reduce your risk of heart attacks and strokes using science-based nutrition that yields metric-driven results. Today, we're going to highlight and briefly talk about the importance of nutrametabolomics and heart health, essentially your gut microbiota and how when we feed it certain foods, it can help create positive or negative metabolites in your gut microbiome. I'm going to make this video short and sweet. I spoke about this for over an hour yesterday with my exclusive heart membership. These are individuals who've completed my six-week heart optimization group program and have continued getting the support and, that they need with updated heart health research. So let me just explain to you the importance of recognizing how gut health and heart health are very connected. The first thing to recognize here is, well, how do you know if your gut health is not where we need it to be? The best way is really to actually assess your stool. So I'm going to share with you something that's known as the Bristol stool chart. And I think this is a good step for anyone who wants to assess, hey, is my gut health actually in the right place? So I like to look here and optimally you're looking at getting a good bowel movement every single day at a type four. That shows that we're having an effective bowel movement. We're binding what we need to get released and throwing it out when we are excreting it when we have a bowel movement. Um, when we're at six or seven, something's irritating the gut. Type one and two, we're at constipation. We're not eliminating and that can also cause the indigestion, acid reflux, and also our body's inability to get rid of what it needs. Um, if there's a lot of bloating, a weak stomach, indigestion, um, you know, straining, diarrhea, we really need to assess what's going on with your gut microbiome and really giving it some love because it's a really big component to assessing your gut microbiome and heart health. Now, you may say to me, Michelle, I'm, you know, okay, so gut health, why, what does it have to do with heart health? Well, one thing is it helps to ensure that we are getting rid of the excess cholesterol. That's one thing. But the other thing that's really important to recognize is this nutrametabolomics research. So when you eat certain foods, if you have a gut microbiome that has good bacteria flourishing, and then you feed it certain foods, it creates metabolites. It creates these byproducts called postbiotic, so to speak, that actually help your body to reduce the tension in your arteries if it's the good food we're feeding it. Conversely, if we're feeding it a lot of foods that are rich in choline and carnitine, it could create a metabolite called TMA, and the liver will make that into TMAO. And when that conversion happens, it could cause stiffness in the arteries, increased risk of heart failure, increased risk of atherosclerosis, kidney decline, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes. So what we feed our gut can either protect our heart or it could not protect our heart. But there's a lot of nuance, like everything in a heart healthy diet. And for those of you who've been following me for a long time, there's nuance in how our bodies work and adapt. So while our bodies can make this negative metabolite called TMA, there's also foods that inhibit the conversion from TMA into TMAO. And so we want to make sure we're adding in those foods like DMB rich foods, such as balsamic vinegar and olive oil, ensuring we're having enough indoles, like our cruciferous vegetables, ensuring we have enough butyrate coming from our whole grains or complex carbohydrates. There's so many things we want to add. But remember, it first goes off with where are we? Because if all of a sudden you just add in all of these foods and you don't take a personalized approach, you'll complain of GI distress and discomfort. So we have to really assess, and I do this with all my clients in the first initial intake, where are you? Where is your gut health? And we need to support it before we just add Add all of these different types of foods in to really change the microbiota to improve your heart health. We also know that 70% of immunity happens in our gut and it is a source of inflammation if it's not properly addressed. It could be a source of oxidative stress if it's not addressed, which all are components to all aspects of cardiovascular health from the plumbing, atherosclerosis, to the pump, heart failure, and to atrial fibrillation, the heartbeat irregularities. So we need to be assessing 
improving your gut health for optimal heart health. Um, and I hope this just gives you a glimpse into understanding that connection. If you want to dive deeper into this with me, I highly encourage you to join my wait list for Optimize. My next cohort is on July 11th. I'll be doing a lot of exclusive bonuses and a lot of exclusive calls specifically for the waitlist individuals. So make sure you join. You can head on over to my website or go into the show notes to get that link. Um, and if you're watching this post, you can always go into one of my other optimized waitlists or into a future cohort. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on my website, entirelynourished.com. Until next time, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day.